Casablanca. It's the White House, man. <laughs> It's the best we can come up with, honestly. I've, I've never been a great naming of a truck kind of guy. It just, it's more who's driving it than, than the truck. My name's Tony Huttenstein. I've been an owner operator for 20 years. We're leased to Rabbit River Transport out of Holland, Michigan. Do a lot of boar's head meat, a lot of step deck freight, and a little bit of trade shows here and there. This is a 2005 Peterbilt 379, 18 speed, 336 rears, 280 wheelbase. It's uh, got one of the last double eagle bunks to roll off the line. It's 80 inch sleeper, shower, potty, all the good stuff that a guy would want, be light and still be able to get home. A lot of conveniences in there. And the only thing that we changed was like your standard microwave oven to a convection oven because I like bacon wrapped hot dogs and they taste pretty good in that convection oven. It's getting rarer and rarer by the day, or more and more rare. There's still a few good ones out there. Arlen Workman has one of the most beautiful ones that a guy can lay eye on. It's just becoming kind of a dying breed, for lack of a better term. They're, they're still out there, but they're few and far in between. So we added seat so low bases. We also run Sears brand seats, had them move back. Basically, it's a very, very stock interior. AMCAN truck services, they hooked us up with some black toggle extensions, which I love. That's a very, very nice little addition. Everybody usually runs chrome. We did ours in black just to do it a little bit different. So we've uh, done a custom insert on the grill. We had the headlights chrome plated. The uh, boxes on the sides have carry the sunburst pattern. We got those through four state trucks. The visor is all RLK. All of our lights are glass. It's a sealed unit through dirty diesels. It's very, very nice stuff. Stainless bases, everything fits tight. No water, no moisture. Very nice stuff. The exhaust looks very, very stock, but it's not. It's aftermarket through Dynaflex. It's all components that you can reach through them. It's very, very happy with their pipes, for sure. So that's actually, it's a double eagle deal. It's just a quilted inlay that's stainless insert. The fenders that are on there are WTI. We run the full fiberglass. I really like that they keep all the debris and everything off of your truck, off of your frame. A lot easier to keep clean. The tail panel that's on it comes from Sutherland Bros Air Ride. It's a nice little addition. They're also the guys that did the air ride front end on the truck. Have you done anything custom under the hood to it? No, sir, it's mostly stock. Uh, it's 1.6 million miles. There's five and a half on the overhaul. So it's, it's breaking in good now. Finally getting some, some broken miles. This isn't exactly a build, like we run and drive this truck every day. We've been running it now for about 16 months. Uh, it's just been a little bit here, a little bit there, kind of move it forward, take care of the things that need to be taken care of, and then we get in it and go to work. 